Hi guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing like a product review video for some things that I've been using on my hair, my body, that kind of thing, and then a couple of my favorites that I've been using for a really long time. If you like these types of videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure that your bell notification is turned on and we will get right into it. So the first thing that I've been using um, pretty much for about two years has been my tanning spray. And recently, um, so there's the Tanologist Express Tan. Recently, um, I accidentally bought the spray. So it's not like before it was like a foam. Um, and I like this. I feel like it gets better coverage than the foam does. The only downside is my store did not have the mitt. So I ended up buying the, this is like the back one so it's like you can see it's kind of long and then I just kind of wrap it around my arms and stuff and I will just spray this like on my arms or uh, mainly use that for like my back and like the back of my legs um, and I feel like this gets a lot even like a lot more even than the foam does the only downside is it's really really dark so I don't keep it on for the full four hours I think it says yeah one to four hours I usually leave it on for two two and a half hours just kind of depends the first time I put it on I forgot that I had it on and it was on for six hours and it was really really dark it was like my normal spray tan dark um which I don't want like all the time but I really 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 love this um I think it's 1788 I bought it at Walmart and I think it's 1788 I will link the um prices to all of these in the description box below so you know um, how much they are but I really 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 love these love this it doesn't have a scent which is good um, my allergies kind of flare up when I have a scent for things like scent um, and things that go on my skin perfume is a different story um, but with like makeup products or like spray tan and stuff like that if it has a scent it's really like irritating to my skin especially my arms um, but I really really like this and um, I've also heard really good things about this, so that's why I tried it in the first place. Um, another thing was I tried, right after um, Lennox was born, I tried the Maylie's B-flat. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, B-flat. Um, and this has a very intense burning sensation on your stomach. Um, this is where you're supposed to put it, is on your stomach. I've put it on my stomach and on the back of my legs um, because I kind of want some tightening on the back of my legs. Also, it's not intended to go on the back of your legs, but that's what I put it on. If you've ever worn a like um, plumping lip gloss, which is also what I'm wearing right now. If you've ever worn a plumping lip gloss, this has a stronger burning sensation than that. If you just get out of the shower and put this on, it's very, very hot. Like, wait about five minutes, um, it's pretty hot on your skin. Um, it doesn't transfer though. You don't have to like worry about it getting on your clothes or wringing your clothes. I never got any oil marks with it. Um, I've only been using it for about a month and they say to use it for two months. This is my second bottle. Um, I'm seeing a little bit of a difference in like the redness of my stretch marks and um, I had pretty significant stretch marks. I'm not going to show you. I'm very self-conscious about them. I know I shouldn't be, but I'm very self-conscious about them. Um, but I've seen a good bit of difference in the color of my stretch marks. Not so much like they're fading, but they're not so red anymore. Um, like I said, my son is six months old. So I'm going to be using this for a little bit longer. Um, I didn't use it there for a little while after I got it because we were going through a lot of stuff with um, my baby. So it kind of went on the back burner. Self-care usually does when you're dealing with babies that have a lot of stuff going on. Like um, he has a lot of eczema and we're trying to figure out like what triggers him, what his allergies are, that kind of thing. Um, so this went on the back burner, but so far I really, really, really like it. I will report back when the bottle is completely empty. This is my second bottle, like I said, but I will report back when the bottle is completely empty. About a year ago, so I think it's been a year, um, I was getting my hair bleached and I originally had red in it and then I dyed it dark and then I was like, I want to go platinum. And mind you, red and black, especially red, are really hard to get out of your hair once you've dyed it. And I didn't use a box dye, I used like actual red hair dye. I mixed it with, um, developer you know like you're supposed to and it still wouldn't come out when so my auntie tried to do my platinum and I did it 
every three months for I think a year and a half and it never got as light as I wanted it to and so I ended up just dyeing it brown like obviously I used the dye in the developer again and dyed it brown because my natural hair color is brown and I just wanted to allow it to completely grow out without touching it without putting dye in it I should say I still use heat products on my hair um, <clears throat> but I wanted to leave it alone while I could you know, let it heal and everything. So for the healing process, my auntie told me to use the Redken Extreme shampoo. Um, and this is the Strength Repair shampoo. I was originally using the blonde shampoo and conditioner. The conditioner is downstairs in my fridge. I, or in my shower, in my fridge. Downstairs in my shower. I was originally using the um, blonde repair shampoo, but considering I'm not blonde anymore, I just use the repair shampoo. For the most part... I see the only difference that I see is that my hair is not as like it doesn't break as bad um, but when I'm in the shower it still feels like my hair feels like really dry and like almost like straw um, and so when I get out of the shower I use a treatment in my hair to keep it like try to put the protein back into my hair um, and that goes along with that set there's a lamellar treatment um, and then the shampoo and conditioner and so I use all of that but even in the shower still it feels like my hair is straw and from what I understand that's gonna happen when you've done so much damage to your hair I really just have to um, let it grow out um, and then cut it off and stuff and so I've slowly been cutting it off and I think I cut like two inches off of it a couple weeks ago um, I'm gonna go back here in about a month and cut a little bit more off of it just like keep cutting like a little bit and a little bit but I really do like that shampoo it doesn't have much of a fragrance like I said I have to be careful with my baby because he's always you know unless he's sleeping I'm pretty much holding him or he needs attention or something so I try to be careful with fragrances around him um, and so I really really like that um, I will report back on if I end up switching. I am thinking about switching to a moisture conditioner just to put like in the bottom where it's really dry and brittle. Um, but I haven't found any, so if you have any recommendations, put them in the description box because I haven't looked at any yet. Like I haven't even started to look. So, and then I have been, um, right before my wedding, which was about a month ago, I went and got my very first spray tan. And the lady that does my spray tan is absolutely incredible. I will link her below. Um, if you're in my area, go see her. I think it's like around $60. I'm not sure um, if the price changes, like depending on your color or um, like how dark it needs to be, stuff like that. I'm not exactly sure. So, but I will leave her name in the description below. Anyway, so she has you do an exfoliating like get a sugar scrub and then um, like a clean body wash that doesn't like clog your pores. So for the exfoliating, um, this is not the one that she gave me, but I had to buy a separate one. This is the Shea Sugar Scrub from Dr. Teal's. Um, this is cannabis, sativa, and hemp seed oil with essential oils. It has shea butter, hemp seed oil, and avocado oil. I really like the smell of this. Um, if you know what strawberry legs are or like those little red bumps on the back of your arms here, I had those really, really bad before I started using this and um, it's not, I mean, it's like half gone. It smells really, really nice, um, probably because of the essential oils, but um, that's all over my hands. Um, but it got rid of the red on the back of my arms for the most part. I still have like some blotching there, um, but I think that's more like environmental. I need to start taking my allergy medicine soon. Um, because the wind's kind of starting to kick up here. Um, but I love this. It makes my legs really, really soft, especially like if you're shaving. Um, I learned that you want to use like, um, a sugar scrub or like an exfoliator before you shave. Um, and then I know sometimes people like use it after they shave to like help with, um, like preventing ingrown hairs. Uh, but I use this before I shave and then I use a really good lotion after I shave. Um, and it's, I haven't gotten any ingrown hairs in I think like four months. Um, so I love this. She did give me a sugar scrub that is from somebody local. So I will link that below. Um, I still have the container, but obviously it's downstairs. I'm a baby sleeping, so I'm not going to go down there right now. Um, 
and I will link that below, but this one I just got at Target, and I want to say it was like $6.99, but if I can find it, I will link it, um, but this is really good, and then she said, while I'm getting a spray tan, she wants me to use the Love Beauty and Planet, and this is the Coconut Water and Vitamin C um, body wash. She said anything clear is good. Um, I know it looks like it's dark on the bottom, but it's just the lighting in here. Um, anything clear is good. Um, not to have like any like um, Dove, um, anything like that. Like I think Dove was like the pretty big one. She was like, don't do that. It'll clog your pores. Your spray tan won't go on properly. So um, I got this one. I like the smell of it. I am a sucker for coconut. So anything that smells like coconut, I'm like, yes, ma'am. Um, so I love, love, love this. Obviously I have a preference for color. Can you tell? So, um, this is about half gone. I, like I said, I bought this about a week before my wedding and my wedding was a month ago last Monday. So, uh, and it's lasted a really long time. Um, I shower every day. I don't use this every day. Um, I use this on the days that I don't use my sugar scrub. But I really, really like this. It makes you smell good and it lasts, like the smell lasts for a long time, but it's not strong, um, which I can't do strong smells, obviously. It's the third time I've, you know, I bought my son, so. Um, but this is like a very, like, light smell. Um, so I prefer to have a scent, not like my normal, like, everybody smells a different way, you know, like naturally just smells a different way. But I prefer to have like a light scent on me. Um, I stopped using like Bath and Body Works because they're really fragrant and they seem to irritate my my sun skin. Um, so when I wear them, I have one that I wear that if I put it on, I will shower before I um, hold him or anything. And I usually put it on at night after he goes to bed and then in the morning I'll take a shower before I before he gets up. Um, but this is really good for, um, it doesn't clog your pores. It smells really nice. It's really inexpensive. I think it's like $4.99 at Target. If I can find it, I will link it below. But this is really, really good. I love this a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, and then as you all know, I have bragged about this for ages. Um, this is the curling iron. I guess it's a curling brush, flat iron brush that I have used since they came out. This is the launch brush. Um, I absolutely adore this thing. It goes from about 170 to 400, 425. Um, I put it on 370. I always put heat protectant in my hair because like I said, you want to protect your hair. Mine is severely damaged. So I know technically you're not supposed to use heat products, but this, I haven't done anything with my hair and it's like wavy and does its own thing. So uh, I have to pretty much do anything with my hair unless I have it like half clipped back like I do now. And then, um, I will wait about 30 minutes before, like after I shower to blow dry my hair. Um, and then I will gently blow dry my hair and then use this to flat iron it. I find that if I just get out of the shower, towel dry, and then blow dry, I will, it like, my hair seems a lot more like frayed and um, like frizzy. That's the word. Um, so I wait about 30 minutes and then I use this after I blow dry my hair. This has been a serious game changer for flat, flat ironing my hair. It literally takes me like 15 minutes. I have a lot of hair. It's wavy and it takes me like 10 or 15 minutes, probably 15 minutes if I'm like trying to deal with my kids at the same time. Um, but it takes me about 15 minutes to do my hair in the morning. I don't always do my hair in the morning. I have three children. It's not realistic for me to do my hair every single morning. Um, most of the time I just pull it back in a ponytail. Um, but on the days that I do, it takes me like 10 or 15 minutes. So I love, love, love this. I know they have sales on these all the time and this one is pretty much always sold out. So if they um, are available now, I will leave a link in the description box um, if they are available. Um, and if you go to their website, you can like get into their email list and they will send you an email when it's available like when it's on sale. Um, also, I used to have their flat iron I actually just threw it away this morning. It's not working for my hair since my texture and my hair has changed. Um, but before their flat iron was absolutely amazing. I absolutely loved it. Um, I couldn't curl with it. And I don't know if that was me or if that was like, I, I don't know if it was just like my hair is too sick or it's too damaged or I don't know. Um, I couldn't get a curl to stay. It would fall within like 10 minutes. So I'm not sure, but for just straightening my hair, it was absolutely amazing. Last thing is my, sorry, your girl needs coffee. Last thing is my perfume. So this is the Yves Saint Laurent 
black opium perfume this is my go-to ride or die perfume i love this i found this about a year ago i use this one all the time because it does not irritate my baby's skin if i go out on date night i use my other one because i don't have to worry about being around my baby usually he's with the in-laws so this is typically i think it's like 140 dollars um, for the big one price per unit is a lot cheaper to just get the big one so i end up always getting the big perfume it lasts me like a year and a half or so i know that's not really very long for a perfume to last but that's about how long it lasts. I know my husband gets the um, blue, blue de Chanel number. Yeah, blue de Chanel, something like that. And that lasts him like two and a half years and it's the big like three ounce one. But he does like a squirt a day and it lasts all day, which I don't understand. It's like, Ben, why does your cologne last all day and I have to spray this 1700 times a day? But anyway, so that is all of my beauty products that, you know, take care of myself that I absolutely adore. Um, if you like these types of videos, please hit that subscribe button. Um, and I post these types of videos every Thursday and then a day in the life kind of videos on Monday. I also have a second channel, which I will link below that I do murder mystery um, and coffee like I have today. Um, where I go through and just talk about a case. Next week is going to be um, the Green River Killer. Um, and if you don't know, Gary Ridgway is the Green River Killer. I will be posting that video over there on Saturday. So those will go up Saturday. I'm thinking about doing two videos a week on that channel, but I'm not exactly sure. So I will leave that channel linked below. If you like these types of videos, like I said, please hit that subscribe button. Make sure that your bell notification is turned on. And I will see you in next week's video. Bye.